I think we're approaching the end of short form content. Or maybe it's the end of short form content creators. Short form content became really popular and boomed in 2020. You know, when that thing happened that rhymes with Oklahoma. TikTok popped off, it became a way for any and everyone to become viral. And becoming a content creator became a more realistic career for a lot of people. Now fast forward to where we are today, more and more companies are pulling their advertising dollars out of influencer marketing. We went from being a content creator, being a sustainable career, to it dropping off little by little. Not to say that being a content creator is no longer profitable, but it's definitely showing signs of slowing down. Matter of fact, it's showing signs of reverting. Now, the primary way for content creators to make money is to take on sponsorships and brand deals. It's really good for the creator because it allows them to have an income, and at one point it was good for the companies paying for the sponsorship. But unfortunately, that's not the case so much anymore. Brands just aren't making the return on investment they used to, and I think that puts the creator economy in a little bit of trouble. Now, I don't think it's immediate trouble, but I do think things are gonna make a change within the next three to five years. Now, things are already starting to change as brands are starting to hire content creators as actors in their campaigns rather than paying them for posting the campaign themselves. Now, by doing this, the brands can still capture the influencer's audience because they're a recognizable figure, as well as control the marketing aspect of the content. More control over the campaign means more control over the results of the campaign. I think TikTok kind of influenced this because their views are just so random and sporadic. If a brand pays a thousand dollars for a post, there's no guarantee of if that post is gonna do numbers or not. So they have to make sure they make that money back. Now content creators also make money from the platform because the platform will give them a percentage of the money that they were making based off of that creator's content. Now companies will pay for advertising on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, wherever they may pay for it at. And those platforms will give the creator a little bit of money for help driving traffic to those campaigns. However, we're entering into a time right now where companies are starting to realize that advertising space next to short form content isn't effective and it's not even profitable anymore. Actually, they're losing money. Now TikTok has even said that they're probably thinking about switching their creator funding program for creators that are making videos between one minute long and 30 minutes long. Now with TikTok saying that, and they're the king of short form content right now, I think that kind of signals the death of short form content. So what do I think the next step for content creators is? I think the next step is the step that has been proven to work the whole time, which is long form content. Long form content, it provides more data on the viewer as well as more opportunities to show advertisement, which generates more money. But I actually think the real money is gonna come from selling content. So for example, Netflix for a while was spending somewhere around $150 million per movie. Like $150 million budgets on a film is crazy, but that's crazy for us normal folks down here. Uh, for Netflix, that's just a normal thing. However, that wasn't sustainable because Netflix only has one stream of income, which is subscription. And at the rate that Netflix was pumping out that content, you know, they was kind of burning through that money real quick. Now, currently Netflix has actually said that they're gonna move to a model where they actually support advertisers on the platform and they're gonna be able to offer a more cheaper subscription plan, uh, but you're gonna see ads if you're on that cheaper subscription plan. And showing ads is a proven way to gain more income because the companies are paying to show ads on your platform at that point. So in short, Netflix was actually bleeding money. They were bleeding money so much, in fact, that you'll actually notice that they start pumping out more anime and more stand-up comedy specials. And the reason for this is because they have to fill up their platform with content and comedy specials and anime is actually considered cheap content. Uh, the reason being is because the average anime season, like for a whole season of anime, averages around $5 million. That's a huge discount from spending $100 million or $150 million, huge discount. And when it comes to stand-up comedy, stand-up comics don't actually make a lot of money anyway. So Netflix can approach a stand-up comic and actually offer them three to four million dollars and they will be happy for it. They'll be happy as a stand-up comedian making that much money. Netflix is happy because they just got a huge discount on a piece of content. Their job is to fill up their platform with as much content as possible and they are willing to do that as cheaply as possible as well, as long as the content is actually good. And because of the platform looking for cheaper content, lower and lower budget projects are becoming more and more common. The first Joker movie was $60 million. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie was actually $20 million. A lot of these companies out there are trying to figure out what is the sweet spot of a movie budget or a project budget in order to get 
the most out of the project. But I say all that to say this. I think in the future we're gonna be in more demand for people that make long form content. I think Netflix as well as a lot of other studios or that own these streaming platforms are gonna be looking for people that make movies, TV shows, animation, like any type of long form content that they can just buy real quick for what they would call cheap and put on their platform is gonna be gold to them. And the reason I wanted to make this video because this is super good news for filmmakers. Because if you make films or if you're a story writer or something of that sort and you're able to bring your vision to life in long form content, you are going to be in a position to make a lot of money in the future. And to them, it's not gonna be a lot of money. Like you might have a movie idea and they've seen some of the work that you've done before and you ask them for $15 million and they're like, cool, go ahead. <laughs> I think that's gonna be really good for a lot of us independent creators because we're so used to making big things on such small budgets. And I think that is gonna be like gold in the future. And I, and I think this future is gonna come for us within the next five to 10 years. Um, I don't know like what that looks like for us, but you know, I'm hopeful. So I'm gonna keep creating feature film projects and kind of see where that goes, focus on the story, make sure the projects are entertaining, and I think it's gonna all pay off in the end. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. It's your boy Nitro Hot Fire here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. I'm gonna try to upload more often. I'm out, peace.